Citations on the of the table. My name is Durant a lot. On the feather in my hand. That would be bad. So, like I said from the earlier video this morning, this is going to be a double upload that I did with, with the previous video. It's another unboxing. And if you're seeing two videos in the same day, like I said, double upload. So, I'm really excited for this next package because it arrived just now. And I've been waiting all day for. Let's see. Lay down, sweetie. Oh, can you lay down, please? Lay down on the blanket. Go lay down. I have Dobby with me today. Sorry. She's. 11 at rest left. She's under the table. Alright, get Dobby. Dobby, Dobby, look at me. Look at me, sweetie. You gotta lay on the bed, okay? Just lay on the bed. Lay on the pillow. Lay on the blanket. Do something. Lay on the. That involves the bed. So, anyway. So. We have my an another package to unbox. I'm not showing you the UPS mail innovations directory thingy. I'm not sure what it's called. But here is that Gremlins item I mentioned about a few hours ago. Well, I mentioned this yesterday by the time I recorded it, but by the time I uploaded it, it was this morning. So this morning I uploaded a video about uh, my Pokemon Build-A-Bear Workshop Alolan Vulpix unboxing. This box, and I said, earlier, and I said in that video, I would, I would add a clip here, but I'm not sure how. That I mentioned there was a Gremlins item in that, in that, in, in another, in another delivery. Now, I got this from ToyWiz.com, and it was like, it was a little, it was a little bit pricey. It was like twenty-five dollars plus shipping. By the way, I failed to mention this in the pre, in the, in the, in the, in the previous video. That little Volpix cost me sixty-one dollars. I spent way too much money. Anyway. Spending way too much money this month. So let's open up the box. Get this tape off here. If I can. If I can. <gasps> okay. It looks cute. Let me just there. Okay. And it is well protected. It's well protected with I was hoping for the right for the for the regular bubble wrap. This is not regular bubble wrap. It's just the one pop stuff. But nonetheless, here is my Gremlins item. Get the box out of here. So here it is. Brownie. Series four NECA action figure of Brownie from. Well, it's actually fun fact. Brownie, as well as the characters on the back. Let me show you real quick. The characters on the back, they are Penny, Brownie, and Duda. Now, Brownie here is, uh, they're, they're all Series 4, but fun fact, Penny, Brownie, and Duda, as they are shown on the back here, they're not actual gremlins from the two movies. However, they are, they are characters from, they are, they're, well, they're technically characters from the movies. But I count them as beta characters, mainly because, well, they're from char they're characters that never made it to the final cut of the movie. It's like, it's like that alpha version of Heart and Gold that was from from the, from that from 1999 or 98, one of the two, of Pokemon, where 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 one of the evolutions was supposed to be a poison type rather than. The type it got, rather than Psychic or Dark, I think it was Umbreon, it was supposed to be a Poison type or something, I don't know. But anyway, but nonetheless, that's what basically happened with Brownie, Penny, and Duda. Now, I would have ordered the other two from the series, but I'm a broke joke. So, let's just unbox Brownie. He, um, and he's actually a he, but I, I, I thought, at first I thought from, like, looks of him, he was a he was actually a she. Eh, it's 2019. But nonetheless, I'm really excited to unbox this. Let's be careful. I don't know whether to keep the packaging or not. Probably not. Because I'm a... I don't want to be a hoarder. I don't want to be a hoarder of... Of, of like... Gar pointless garbage. But nonetheless... There. There we go. Nailed it! Okay. 
got an open finally. So, let's pull out this paper thing. I just ripped it, my bad. So yeah, let's give you a better glimpse. I don't know if you guys saw that because of a glare or something or bad camera angle. But yeah, and like Stripe and Gizmo, they're right here actually. I left them there, un I left them there unintentionally, honestly. So like Gizmo and Stripe, they all they have who have movable eyes. Brownie and I guess series four, all, all the series four characters have them have movable eyes as well. Yeah, you're. Oh wait, let me let me get let me get, let me get that. Uh... Let's get the thing here. That actually looks pretty well detailed. Like I gotta admit. And uh, yeah, it shows product product development. Uh, who sculpted it, who painted it, the prototypes of it, who made the prototypes, who made the packaging, and who made the photography. Interesting. So, let's open this up, shall we? Let's just get this plastic twist tie out of here. Out of the way later. And here we are. That's Brad Derek Brownie. Oh, this looks so cool. Okay, before I remove the... Alright, let's get you guys a good look at Brownie. Get my face out of there. He looks so detailed. Like... Alright, I'm gonna get a better camera angle of him real quick. Okay, so let's get a better angle of Brownie. Now... Oh my gosh, he looks so detailed. Like, I'm sorry about the, the lighting doesn't do it justice, because it's an overhead light. I mean, you can get a, barely get a look at her eyes. Oh, wait, wait, that's better. Um, so yeah. The painting is quite, quite interesting. Like, I mean, I've seen with some of the NECA action figures, like, there's like, uh, parts where, Bobby, quit looking. There's like parts of the Mogwai, and like, I guess Series 5, where... Where it, like, it's, like, um, there's not, like, definite lines where it, like, it, like, airbrush, airbrushes, that's it. I think the art word. There's, like, parts of the Mogwai where they're, like, uh, really high, like, they look realistic. And they're not, and the colors aren't just, like, a straight line and you can tell where the lines are. Brownie has some bold lines where you can see the coloring. Like, the, like, the colors mean another color. But, yeah, let's get rid of the tab on the back, get out of here, so yeah, here are the, oh, that's creepy, here are the eyes in full motion, that is so cool, I can't, I can't get over that, sorry, like, when I got, when I got my first Mogwai action figure, I just need my scissors, ow, so here's, there is a definite, I mean, with Stripe and Brownie, they look really different. I mean, with curled ears and all that. But they share the same torso and all that. I think Brownie and this version of Gizmo share the same face, only with a different... Only with a different, like... What's the word? Oh yeah, colors. But yeah, other than that, I have to say... Brownie is a great addition to my collection. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see other unboxings in the future of more new, of more of the neck uh, action figures. Like, I'm really I'm really happy with how I'm really happy with how they're turning out. Like, I'm putting a lot of effort in them, and I never hard, I hardly ever do that. Probably shouldn't have said that on camera. I mean, I put enough effort on my uh, on, on my videos, but. With, the, with these unboxings, I put maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> but nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like like you're dropping the bass. Wow, wow. Give you a subscribe button, the Osmosity Snack. And I'll see you fellow nice in the next video. Dudes.